An abused pit bull puppy. I could tell he had a tough road. From a dangerous neighborhood, he fights to survive. Wanna go find it? At the U.S.-Mexico border, a risky undercover operation. They knew that there was something hidden in there. That hinges on the nose of a canine officer. Everybody was saying, we hit the mother load. Two worlds apart, a dog joins the front lines in the war on drugs. At the U.S.-Mexico border, rookie customs officers J.J. Trevino and his new partner, a drug-sniffing dog named Popsicle, are circling a refrigerated semi-tractor trailer provided by two suspected drug traffickers, Benjamin and Jacobo Mendoza. A drug-busting task force suspects there are narcotics on board, but they need proof. The truck appears to be filled with pineapples, likely to help mask the odor of anything illegal hidden inside. It is up to the canine officer to smell past the fruit. Imagine a little American Terrier who's only like two feet tall. And this trailer is four feet from the ground and he's having to hop up there to tell me, well, hey, it's here, Dad, it's here, Dad. Then the moment the anxious task force members have been waiting for. Popsicle gives the signal wildly jumping up and trying to scratch at the trailer. He is sure that the truck is carrying illegal narcotics. It is the sign the agents need. With the dog's confirmation, they immediately request a search warrant. And it is granted. The Mendoza brothers, still under surveillance and unaware that their truck driver is an undercover agent, call to check in on their shipment. When we were executing the search warrant, I received several calls from them. Hello. Saying, hey, how's it going? Where are you at now? I would say, yeah, I'm still heading north. Everything's fine. They didn't know that we were unloading the 18-wheeler as we spoke. They are also unaware that as agents search the cargo, the dog responsible for their pending bust receives his reward, tug of war with a terry cloth towel. It is also a big deal to his human team members. Whoa. Jackpot. What Popsicle alerted to is a ton and a half of cocaine with a street value of $140 million. It is the biggest bust in the area in a decade. Agent Morales had expected a smaller bust containing only marijuana. Everybody was saying, we hit the mother load, we hit the mother load. We were just surprised how many bins were just full of cocaine. We were just thrilled, <laughs> very excited. The size of this seizure indicates that this is a pretty large organization. 3,000 pounds of cocaine, not just anybody can muster up. That kick-started an even larger investigation that went uh, pretty big internationally. Just after the discovery of the cocaine, the surveillance team moves and arrest three members of the Mendoza family. Benjamin is sentenced to 15 years, Jacobo to 14 years, and Javier receives a life sentence. All three cases are currently on appeal. Popsicle, once an abused pit bull puppy who was found stuffed in a plastic garbage bag, is now a beloved working canine. The dog getting his just reward as far as getting back at the criminals, that, I think that was another coup for him. Popsicle, they say, came full circle. The fact that the house that they found him in was a bad house, and he comes in and we get him healthy, and he goes back out into the public and fights Good bad boy. people Good dog. and gets them. That was very cool. It is Popsicle's first bust as an officer, but not the first time he has helped bring a suspected drug dealer to justice. Renardus Rose, the man who had abused the young pit bull just a year earlier, was indicted on three charges, including torturing and injuring animals. When the case went to the Supreme Court in Erie County, he was convicted on all counts and sentenced to probation. 
After two more months with J.J. Trevino at the FAR and Hidalgo port of entry, Pops returned to Virginia for more training and a new partner, Rudy Carr. It's a good boy. How are you been doing, Pop? I spend probably more time with my dog than I do at home with my wife. <laughs> In their four years as partners, Carr and Popsicle were responsible for dozens of seizures worth millions of dollars. During a training exercise in 2002, Popsicle tore ligaments in his hind knee. It was a career-ending injury. But Rudy Carr jumps at the chance to adopt his partner. Popsicle lived a good life with the Carr family. He slept on the couch and roamed the backyard leash-free until he passed away in 2005. This dog was just happy, and it, it was just incredible, given you know, what he had gone through and what he had seen and what he had been used for. Obstacle was such a, I mean, I can't say it enough. I keep saying it till I die. He was the greatest dog I ever known, I ever had. 